All right, we got the graph of the function f of x is shown. Which of the following statements is true about f? I'm just going to look at each of these individually. f is undefined at x equals 1. That is false. It's defined right there, so that's not correct. 2, f is defined but not continuous at x equals 2. Well, x equals 2, it's defined, and it's also continuous. So that's false. 3, f is defined and continuous at x equals 3. Um, both of those are wrong. The vertical asymptote here at 3, it's not continuous there. Those are both false. So the only answer could be a z. Number 2. This says that we are supposed to let y equal this function. What y value must be needed to make the function continuous? In order to be able to make a function continuous, it must mean there's a hole in the graph. So if there's a hole in the graph, that means cancels have to factors have to cancel. So the top is going to factor into an x plus 7 and an x minus 3. The bottom is a difference of two squares. The x minus 3's cancel. Hole. It's kind of like goal in soccer. But you're not European, so you don't even know that. There's a hole at the x minus 3 equals 0. There's a hole at x equals 3. The problem asks for a y value. To find the y coordinate of your hole, we're going to plug in to what's left of the function. y equals x plus 7 over x plus 3. The 3. And you end up with 10 over 6 as the y value of the whole, which is the same as 5 thirds. This has a whole at 3, 5 thirds. To be clear, what y value would be needed to make the function continuous for all positive numbers in the domain? Well, since there's a hole in the graph at five, at three five thirds, to plug the hole, the y value has to be five thirds. Moving on. For which value of k is the function continuous at x equals four? Well, well let's see. So if we take the function sine of pi over x, and we take the function k square roots of x over 2, those have to be equal to each other. Because if they're equal to each other, the y values, that means it would be continuous. We want to know when this is 4, so we replace x with 4, and then we just simply solve the equation for k. Sine of pi over 4 is 1 over the square root of 2, or if you prefer, square root of 2 over 2. The AP test doesn't care what format it's in. 4 divided by 2 is 2. To get k by itself, we could multiply both sides by 1 over the square root of 2, On the right side, you're left with the k. On the left, you end up with 1 times the square root of 2, pardon me, 1 over the square root of 2 times 1 over the square root of 2, which is 1 half. So that is answer D. Number 4. The function is continuous on the closed interval. So this is the intermediate value theorem. That's what I'm thinking when I hear this and has values that are given in the table above. The equation g of x is 1 half must have at least two intersections on this interval. 